Okay, so sometimes as a video editor, we'll have a, a client send us a finalized project, a final video, and they'll ask us to make some changes to that video. So sometimes we may not have the original footage, we may not have the project files, and basically they send us a finalized uh, MP4 or MOV file, and they want us to go through and change up the clips. So in that case, what we're gonna to have to do there is we're gonna to have to bring in the footage into our timeline. We're gonna to have to go through and make cuts for each clip. And that can be a very time consuming, a very slow process. So DaVinci has a solution for that. If I just pull up DaVinci here, I'll show you what we can do. <clears throat> so within DaVinci, we have a a functionality. It utilizes the DaVinci Neural Engine and it's called Scene Cut Detection. And basically Scene Cut Detection will analyze a piece of footage and go through and make cuts on, on each clip automatically. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. So we're in the media, media tab here of, of DaVinci and I've just pulled in this, this clip here. So I was in the Philippines recently with Cebu Pacific and I've got this, this video here. Let me just mute it. I've got this video and we have some underwater footage, which is, you know, it's obviously a finalized edited video. And I want to go through and say I want to pull out all the individual shots with, with the sardines. So what I'll do is I'll right click and you can go down here, you can see scene cut detection. So just before we do that, we'll want to make sure that because this is not within DaVinci, this is a, a video on our hard drive or our MacBook. This is this section here is inside DaVinci. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to create a folder inside DaVinci. So I've created one here called scene cut detection. And we'll want to select this folder. And basically what's going to happen is when we right click this and press scene cut detection. So now if I do auto scene detect. This is DaVinci going through this piece of footage and making cuts at each point it thinks it's a new clip. These green bars are the cut points and basically the, the length of the green bar is the confidence that DaVinci has in it being a correct cut. So you can see here, it's 100%, 100%. This one, it wasn't so certain. So maybe because it's an underwater scene, there's sardines, it wasn't 100% sure, but it looks like a good cut to me. And this one, it's cut, 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 cut. This last one, it's not sure, so let's have a look. So it goes from the turtle to the sardines. So that's also a cut. So, you know, it's done pretty well here. It's, it's pretty accurate when it comes to making the cuts. Sometimes you'll find that if it isn't sure that there's a cut, it'll have two green lines beside each other, um, one being more confident than the other. What you can do if there are two green lines and one of them is incorrect, you can actually just go here to the right side and you can see as I click each scene, it's jumping to the green bar. So say for example, this last one was incorrect. I could just select it and then I can press delete. So we're not gonna do that here because it is a correct cut, but just for reference, if there is an incorrect selection, you can just go through and, and press delete. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, a massive time saver, you know, f that took less than three seconds to go through that video clip. And you know, especially if you've got like a longer, a longer video, maybe it's one, two minutes and there's a bunch of footage in there. And you know, to do that manually would take so much time. Uh, DaVinci with the scene cut detection can just, you know, cut that down to a matter of seconds. And we'll just hit add the cuts to the media pool. And it's gonna add to, let me just close that, add to that folder that I've created earlier. So, you know, you can create and name the folder whatever you want. I just named it scene cut detection. And now we've basically got each individual piece of footage in our media pool. And what we can do now is we can go through and, you know, for example, if I just wanted the, the clips with the sardines, I can go through and select them and then bring them into my timeline. A massive time saver. It's, it's super useful if you do have a client project and, you know, they want you to go in, make some changes. 
and you just want to do it super fast you just want to pull out the footage that you need you know you can go in now make some adjustments you can you know if you want to you know crop in if you want to you know change the position stuff like that it's um let me just use the vertical it's super super convenient 